everyone, welcome back to Instapot and with Poonam. I love this dish. This reminds me of so much when I used to go to India, or when I go to India. Um, and one of my favorite street foods is having Manchurian, which is an Indo-Chinese uh, dish. And so I thought, how can we put it in the Instant Pot? And so the Instant Pot and team got in the test kitchen and we figured out how to do it. So um, I wanted to show you guys how to actually get it done in your Instant Pot. So let's run through the ingredients that you'll need uh, and then we'll kind of go through the steps. So um, we have different things of laying out here, but we have soy sauce, vinegar, sweet chili sauce, ketchup, sambal paste, which is this, and it's so yummy. Oops. Um, onions, garlic, ginger, cornstarch. We have some green onions for garnish. We have two um, different types of Manchurian balls that you can use. One, if you're an overachiever, like some people are, then you can home make these um, and then use it in your Manchurian in the recipe on our website. So instapodwithwinnum.com in the recipe, you will see the variation on how to actually make this at home. And if you're going to make this, then you're going to also need this handy dandy pan. Don't worry, because we'll give you a link on how to buy it from Amazon, but it is a Funyatum pan. Um, that people use to make idlis and things like that. But this is a great um, kind of pan to have and you'll have a link to get it from Amazon. So we'll show you how to make the homemade ones. But if you're like me and you don't have time for that, then you can buy vegetarian meatballs um, that you can find at Trader Joe's. Ikea um, also sells them, but any vegetarian meatball that you can find, um, you could use that uh, for the Manchurian. And then you'll need oil and water uh, in order to get this all done. So, in order to get this started, I've already put the um, Instant Pot on saute mode and it says hot. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. So you're first going to um, take your oil and you're going to saute um, your onions and the ginger and garlic. And you're going to let this saute for two minutes and we'll get to the next few steps. All right, so it's been two minutes. We sauteed the onions. Now you dump all your sauces in. My favorite part is the dump and go situations. Your sweet chili. And then your sambal, which is my favorite. All right. So just mix that up real good. Remember to avoid any burn signals from your Instant Pot. Always make sure that you stir it up real good. Make sure nothing gets stuck to the bottom. And then you're going to add your water into this. Now, there is um, a slight variation. If you're going to be the overachiever and make your homemade ones, then you're just going to throw this in here and simmer it. Uh, but because I'm not an overachiever all the time, we're going to make the meatball version, the veggie meatball version. So you're going to throw those in and kind of coat them up in this mix. And you're just going to go ahead and close the lid. Close the vent. And then you're going to turn off the saute mode. You're going to go to manual mode to four minutes. So scroll down to four minutes. There we go. And then we'll come back and show you guys the last little bit of how to make the Manchurian. All right, so our timer went off about five minutes ago. So another reminder for everybody that uses the Instant Pot. So if your alarm goes off, so when you put your timer on and it goes off and it goes to zero, then what it also does is it counts the number of minutes since your timer went off. So it's been six minutes since my timer went off. Nothing wrong with that. It's just letting you know. And it's totally fine if you don't get to the timer right when it says zero. So I wanted to make sure and remind everybody of that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. As well as I've taken the steam out so you wouldn't have to watch me do that. Be careful. Do not stand right behind it when you're doing anything or have, your, have anyone standing behind there because it is dangerous. So kind of release the steam. And then you're going to open it up. And it smells very yummy. i put that in my stand right here. Alrighty. So the next little bit of this is really simple. You're going to take some water 
and you're going to put it in the cornstarch. And you're going to whisk that up to where you could just get it smooth and you can see that it's becoming a little liquidy with no lumps. And if you have a few lumps, it's going to be fine. All right, so once you have that done, you may find that it gets a little sticky, but once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and pour that in. Already. And then just mix it up real good. And then you may get some onions and stuff stuck to the bottom, so make sure that you do scrape that off. And you'll probably stir it. You'll notice that it will thicken up a bit as you're stirring it. And then you're going to saute it for a few minutes. So once you get that cornstarch in, you're going to um, mix it up real nice. And then you're going to go to saute mode and just let it simmer for, you don't need to put a timer, but let it simmer for like two or three minutes until you can see that the, um, the liquidy part is thickening up to like that thicker gravy in Manchurian. Uh, and then we'll be ready to serve it up. All right, everyone, you can visibly see that the sauce is much thicker um, after you sauteed it for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the saute mode and then we're gonna get to serve this up. So we can eat. So you can eat this with rice. You can eat it with um, like noodles, egg noodles, oops, sorry, um, rice noodles, totally a preference. I like to eat it with noodles. So I am probably gonna have some in a little bit and then you can garnish some with some green onions. And there you have it. So we basically made street food, Manchurian, so good. It'll take you back to that Indian street food if you've ever had it. If you haven't had it, you should definitely try it. But we brought a little version home. I think you'll really like it if you try it. Share your success. We really wanna hear about it. Um, but I'm gonna go eat some Manchurian. I'll see you later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the Manchurian video. I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely pair it up with some white rice and you'll find the video on the left or some brown rice. You'll also find that listed below. Definitely reference the link below for all of our recipes and amounts and everything there for the details. As well as hit that red and white subscribe button so you never miss a video and you always get to have our past videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.